Hi there, my name's Joss and I'm from EC1, the jewellery store in London. I'd like to talk to you today a bit about uh, how to find the perfect stone for you. Diamonds have been graded using a thing called the four C's. And these include the cut, colour, clarity and finally carat weight. We believe to find the perfect stone they should be prioritised in, uh, in that order. Let's start with the cut. In this case, when we talk about a cut, we're referring to the proportions, the polish and the symmetry of the stone, not necessarily the shape. Diamonds come in a variety of shapes, such as the round brilliant cut or square princess cut. But the proportions of the shape is the most important thing. If you've got a well cut diamond, it will take in light from the top and will knock it around inside the prism and it will come back out and meet the eye in a thing that we call brilliance. And it's really important to make sure that your diamond is cut proportionally well. If the diamond is too deep, for example, it will take in the light and it will flood out of the bottom and you'll get dark areas at the bottom of the stone. Or if it's too shallow, it will look glassy and uh, a little bit dead. So whenever looking at diamonds, try and compare two or three side by side and you'll see the one that suits you, maybe the one that sings to you. Now to colour. We believe this is the second most important factor when choosing a diamond. Colour is graded from D, which is considered colourless, all the way through to Z, although it's unusual to grade a diamond below an I. From D downwards, on uh, every letter of the alphabet, the diamond will pick up a hint of yellow. Most people can't see any colour in, say, a, a G colour stone, but pretty much everybody can see it in an I. One thing to bear in mind is if you're using a very white metal like platinum, it's essential to use a white stone. Something like an F or above would uh, sit well with platinum. However, if you're using yellow gold or rose gold, you can get away with using a, a stone that draws slightly more colour, and sometimes it can even complement the setting. Next we come to clarity. Of all of the grading, clarity is the easiest to understand. A stone that has no imperfections at all under 10 times magnification is called a flawless stone. Quite often, most diamonds will have small imperfections, uh, carbon traces, a white dot, a feather. And when the stone is magnified under 10 times, you can then grade it accordingly. Clarity is very much a personal choice. Some customers will prefer to have a smaller flawless stone, whilst others a larger one with some imperfections. It's important to remember that the clarity of a diamond, as long as it can't be seen to the naked eye, any imperfections will not affect the overall beauty of the stone. Finally, we have carat weight. Diamonds are measured in weight rather than size, and it's an important distinction to make because the two often get muddled up. In the same way that one pound is made up of 100 pence, one carat consists of 100 points. Jewellers and diamond dealers will often uh, refer to a stone as a 50-pointer when they're talking about a half carat or 33 points when they're talking about a third of a carat, etc. Also, we find with diamonds that there are magic numbers. Most uh, people who buy diamonds want to be able to say it's a one carat or a half carat or a two carat. And these magic numbers can often push the price up it's okay to buy a stone that's just under or just over and you may be able to get a little bit more for your money by doing that. The size of a diamond can vary depending on its proportions. Two stones of the same weight can look noticeably different when compared from above. And now we have looked at all the factors around choosing a diamond. Hopefully you have a better understanding of the four C's and when selecting your own stone or a stone for a loved one, you're able to make a, maybe a more informed decision. You should be able to see that a better cut, a clearer, a cleaner or a larger stone 
is, is often more rare and that will be reflected in the price. Thank you for listening. If you'd like any more information, please feel free to contact me.